welcome back to the game room. Today on the game room, it's time for November's Video Games Multiplayer. Yeah, I know. November, holy crap. This is the second last box of the year. So, let's jump in and see what's in here. First thing, okay, I feel some cards. First one is the usual update your library, post this on Facebook, etc. You might win three games. I've not ever won three games. Maybe not. Next, we have the premium edition. That's the premium edition card for premium edition games. This month's giveaway is. A Mario sticker. Actually two. I've got a Mario head. And Super Mario. Okay. First game. Field. Hmm, plastic. Oh. It's a Japanese import game. It is GoldenEye. I think. I really like the import games I've been getting for, from this. I got, I honestly have more of the big name titles like GoldenEye and Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon, I got two po two different Pokemon games, um, Zelda's, uh, I think I have Donkey Kong 64, I have that for US too, but I have more of the big name titles for Japanese import than I do for my US 64. Moving on, ooh, I feel, ooh, this might be a GameCube game. Yep, it is Virtual Striker 3 version 2002 for Japanese GameCube, and let's see it. It's got the sleeve. Oh, and it has the manual. I do like, for some reason, I really do like these Japanese GameCube games. I wish the US games came in these cases. And the manual looks in really, whoop, well, it was in good shape. Apparently, there's a loose page. That's not that bad. Let's check the disc. Yeah, I do like this, how small these are. I think it's better than the giant ones like PS2 size cases that we get for ours, but. Okay, let's check the desk. Uh, this is a little scratched up, but yeah, it should play. Uh, I don't know if it will play because I still, I know, it's like the fourth box you've heard me say this. I still do not have my Japanese GameCube. I keep saying I'm going to buy one, but then I went ahead and bought a Sega Saturn. That is the next system I'm going to get, and probably the last one for a while. Okay, moving on. So that's two games. It should be five. Since I didn't see any one up, let's see, this feels plasticky, it might be GameCube, PS3, PS2, I don't know, let's see what it is. It is Starhawk for PS3. Let's see, is it complete? Yes, it is. Okay, let's shut this disc. Not the worst, not the best here. Let's see, what is Starhawk? I don't know what this is. In the future, two factions wage war over the universe's most precious resource. Emmett's grave is a higher gun cut in the middle. Battle against all odds. He must hope for his salvation. So it's some kind of shooter. I don't know. Although, I'm not sure why this has a Madden sticker. I guess this used to be a Madden case or something. I don't know. I guess somebody just swapped out the cover. Okay, that's three. Number four is also a PS4, PS3 shaped box. Although it feels pretty sealed. It is Outriders Day 1 Edition sealed for PS4. And it says that. PS5 upgrade available, but also says internet required. Which makes me wonder. Oh, it's yeah, it's online only, so I wonder if this will even play. 
I don't think enough people are still playing this or not. Okay, so that's always cool to get a sealed game. I have probably close to, mm, I want to say 20 games that are sealed. I get like one sealed game and almost like one of my boxes, which is also cool. And, okay, so one last game, and it is also a PS4 game. It is Pac-Man Museum. It says there's 14 games on here. Let's see. Pac-Man, Pac-and-Pal, Pac-Mania, Pac-and-Time, Pac-Man Arrangement, Pac-Modos, Pac-Man Battle Royale, Super Pac-Man, Pac-Land, Pac-Attack, Pac-Man Arrangement, Pac-Man Championship Nation, Pac-and-Roll Remix, and Pac-Man 256. It's also a PS4 improved or enhanced, but it's not upgradable. Okay. So now let's review. This box, so this month's box was Pac-Man Museum for PS4. A sealed copy of Art Riders, which is online only, but also a PS5 upgradable. So it might be on the playlist still, because people might be playing this on PS5. I don't know. Sealed for PS4. Starhawk for PS3. This month's import game, since I usually get one for each one of my import systems, this month's for is Virtual Striker 3 2002 for import GameCube. And this month's import 64 game was GoldenEye. And this month's giveaways for Stickers of Super Mario and Mario's head. That wraps up this month's box. Uh, they were saying that they were supposed to have uh, some flash sales. Well, they had a console flash sale a couple weeks ago. I just it was for GameCube controllers that were wired. So I didn't get into that. So I'm ho still hopefully waiting for that flash sale. And next month's box will be the last box of the year. As always, if you like this and you want to see more unboxing videos, because I do these boxes every month, plus I do gameplay videos as much as possible, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll be back next month with next month's box. Till next time.